hello wonderful people and welcome to my channel once again so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i made this gown okay it's just a shift free gown um not too big and not to be body as well it's going to be like free gown okay okay so for this tutorial i'm going to be using this um crepe material okay this is crepe material and um i'm going this is the measurements is actually this gown is for a client then my tape my chalk and my scissors all right so i'm just going to set this aside somewhere all right so the first thing you have to do is you have to fold your material into two the right side in and then the wrong side out okay have to fold it into two like this for this gown it's going to be um a cut together um sleeve kind of gown it's going to be more like danchiki vibe kind of gown so um but this client wants her own danchiki sleeve not to be you know open she wants it you know somewhere here so Getting the material for the so. make sure your material is nice and flat. Okay. Now for this, um, for this, the bust is 46, the waist measurement is 40, half length is 17, shoulder 18, full bust, full length, sorry, 41, and then the hip is 47, alright, so, um, the method I'm going to be using to cut this dress applies to every other side. So no matter the measurement you are using to make this dress, just apply the same thing as I'm doing now to your measurements, okay? There is no difference in how you cut the big size, the small size, kids, and all. There is no difference at all. Just apply the same technique, all right? So that's just that. So we we'll have to cut the front side, first of all. And then um, we go over to you now use the front side to cut out the back side. So I'm going to be marking the armhole with nine. All right. Then um, the half length is 17. I'm going to be adding just um, half inch to this sewing allowance, 17 and a half. And then the hip area, I'm going to be using 26. And then the full length of the gown, which is 41. Okay, I'm going to add in few inches to fold the work. So this is 41. Adding extra, um, extra two inches to fold the down width, all right? Because as you know, this gun is not going to have any kind of lining inside or turning off or something like that because of the kind of material I'm using for this. So I'm just going to be folding in the down part. So now that we are done getting the armhole, the waist. Um, the hip and then the, we go over to getting the shoulder and where she wants the sleeve to be. Now for this kind of gown that I'm making, all you need to use for this gown is just the shoulder and where she wants, where the customer or where you want the sleeve to be and then you mark all the way down, alright? Because it's going to be a free gown, alright? But it's cute too. 
okay so for the shoulder which is 18 and mark out divide you divide your shoulder by 2 which is 9 18 divided by 2 is 9 and then to where she wants your, you want the sleeve to be which is I'm going to be marking out 8 all right and then you mark all the way down so this the sleeve plus the shoulder gives me um, 17 all right so I'm going to be marking all the way down all right And then I connect all the lines. So this is it. We're gonna just cut this out. And then use this to cut out the back part. I'm going to be notching the length of the lines. And then notch the half length where I'm going to be putting the pocket so this one is sufficient to have a pocket as So this gown has no zip, so there is no need for you to add the zip along. So the front is going to be the same as the back, okay? And then cut. I'm just going to set this aside like so. Now I'm going to cut the neck part of this dress. So let me pull this down so you can see what I am doing. Okay. Now let's get the neck part of this dress. So um, the shoulder kind of determines what the neck is going to be. So because the shoulder is 18, and this um, this dress is going to have a slit at the center like so, and she doesn't want the neck to be all so um too tight on her. So I'm going to be using um, I'm going to be using a four. I'm going to be marking four. Four by four and a half. Okay, and from this four and a half, you mark down to eight and a half. That is where the slit at the front is going to end. So connect this 
and then make an angle to get the perfect round neck okay you see this this is for the front so you just cut like this and then you cut For the back side, I'm going to match the same. I'm going to be four by one. And then, just like you did with the front, to get a perfect round neck. Okay. We all know that you don't have to leave the shoulder straight like this. So, with two inches, you slant the shoulder down. Okay? You understand the mark two inches by right here, and then you slant this down. Okay? This is the same for the front and the back. And then you cut it out. Yeah, so this is it. And then the next thing you have to do is to determine where you want the opening of the sleeve to be. All right. So with this, I'm going to go down. She doesn't want it to be too open. She doesn't want it to be too closed. Alright. So I'm going to go down to 11. I'm sorry, I'm going to go down to 11 and a half. She doesn't want it too open and too closed at the same time. And then I'm just going to mark this. So when I'm sewing, I know that this is where I'm going to be sewing from. Alright. So this is just the gown, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is to cut out the facing of this neck, what I'm going to be turning up the neck with, okay? So just cut out the facing of the neck. To be cutting out the facing for this facing is something you're going to use to turn up the neck okay so i'm just going to cut now this is where your slit is you're going to go down with about three inches, okay. We call it slant, slit, the facing. So this is what I'm going to be using as the first thing for the front. Okay. And you also need a facing for the back. Make sure this is a core. This is going to be for the back, okay? And for the pocket, everyone has the way they cut 
out their inside pocket okay but for me this is how i do it i put my material into two like this right you have one two three four okay so this is going to give you two pockets all right so i'm just going to mark this out and then i'm going to mark out 11. Then I'm marking out nine. All right. So I'm going to mark out this, connect this to this like this. All right. And then I'm going to be cutting out, slanting this like this. It's just about half inch. I'm cutting this piece out. So. This is how I cut out my in simple case. Okay, so this is the pocket one for each side. So now let's get to the sewing so the first thing you have to do is to um sew on the facing okay but first of all let's um set some of these things aside and we'll start with the front part okay so you pick up the front part with the facing open up the front part place the facing at the front part the right side let me just use the right side the right side of the clothes okay not at the wrong side the right side of the clothes because when you sew from the right side you now turn it over to the wrong side of the clothes all right so i'm going to first of all pin this down okay just pin it down like you see me do just to hold the cloth firm all right just pin pin i'm just going to do my best to take this tutorial step by step so that you understand okay i wouldn't want to rush anything so make sure you watch to the end <laughs> So go ahead and pin it like that. So when you're done pinning, you just go ahead and sew. Okay, it's about half inch allowance. Just sew. Sew it round. Make sure your hand is straight when you are sewing. just so remember to lock your stitches at the beginning and at the ending okay so when you're done sewing the next thing you have to do is to notch the cloth, the neck parts. Okay, what I mean by notch is just to like give it a small slash so that um, by the time you do your top stitching, the um, neck will just be nice and flat. Okay, this is what I mean by notching it. Just small, small slash all through. Remove the pin. And then you top stitch. So you top stitch at the um, facing side, okay? Just like that. Make sure that the seam is facing the material you used to make the facing of the clothes. And then you top stitch.
just make sure she's are straight and nice okay then cut off the thread okay you can see that now yeah so the next thing to do is to so um the slate you have at the front okay so you just place the facing like that wrong side um right side facing the right side okay you place it like that and then hold it down with your pin make sure everything is nice and flat hold it with your pin and then you sew Nice. So, so when you get at the center part there, the with your needle inside the cloth, raise up um the fresh foot of your machine and turn over like that, and then you keep sewing. give it um small small slashes as well just as you did before remove the pin turn this over Make sure you turn this out very well, okay? So by the time you turn it out, yeah, this is what you're going to have, just like that. But that's not all yet, okay? Just make sure you turn it out very well. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take the facing and then fold it in like that fold it and sew it up you double fold okay and then you sew just watch me do it carefully and see how i'm folding it in okay you know it's not straight so you have to be careful while doing this. Just have to be careful while doing this. So you don't have any um, squeeze or fold anywhere. Okay. I hope you're really enjoying this video. If you are, please let me know where you're watching me from. Okay. And I would like to read your comments in the comment section as well. I love reading your comments, so please drop a comment for me. Alright? Thank you so much. So you just have to sew. Yeah, remember to top stitch. So that is all for the front facing, okay? Yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and iron this out. Just make sure you iron it very well.
Yeah, so this is it. I'm done ironing. You see how neat and flat that is. Okay, so I'm just going to set this aside and then pick up the back side and add the facing as well. So just watch me do it closely. It is just the same way um, I faced the facing for the front. The only difference is that the back side does not have the slits that the front side does, but it's just the same process, okay? So watch me do it closely. So now I'm done with the back parts, okay, all ironed out and neat. So the next step is to fix the shoulder, join the shoulders together. Now watch me closely and see how I fix the shoulder. So you pick up the front part, okay, wrong side facing the wrong side, all right, yeah, place it like that. Just watch me closely, please. Watch me closely. So, this is what I mean by the wrong side facing the wrong side, okay? Yeah. Now, you hold the both together. Now, with the front, um, with the front parts, you wrap up the back parts, okay? With the front shoulder, wrap up the back shoulder, just like that. Then make sure that the um, 
both shoulders they are equal okay and then you go ahead and sew so watch me do this again the front wrapping up the back so make sure you place it very well okay and then you go ahead to place it on the same machine and then you sew So while you're sewing this, make sure that they are equal, okay? Just make sure that they are equal. No one is bigger or popping up more than the other. Just make sure that they are equal. Very, very equal. It's very, very important. Then you go ahead and sew. I'm using, I'm sewing this with half inch allowance. So when you're done with this, you go ahead and do the same for the other shoulder, okay? So this is it. The next thing now is to turn this over and then with your pin, you pin down the sides, okay? But this is time to join the sides, all right? So with your pin, first of all, pin this down, all right? So now while you are pinning this down, um, be mindful of the marks that we gave earlier. Remember this mark is where we're going to start sewing from okay that is the first mark you pin it like that the second mark is the half length where the in pocket is going to start from okay remember this um dress is going to have an inner pocket all right it's going to have an inseam pocket so pin it down very very well make sure they are equal okay make sure everything is equal and neat
so now that you're done pinning from the first mark okay just look very well from the first mark all right where um the opening of the ham hole is going to start from you sew that is where you're going to start sewing from you sew this with one and a half inch allowance okay and then you stop at the mark as as and you stop at the half length that is where the pocket is going to be the opening of the pocket is going to be now from that half length you measure out seven okay measure out seven so from the um half length to where the seven ends is going to be where you'll be placing the inner pocket all right so just so like that then stop at the half length okay and make sure you lock your stitches at this point and then down to where you mark the seven all right you sew lock your stitches and then sew all the way down okay that seven where you skipped is going to be where you'll be placing your pockets all right i yeah, hope Hope is making hope I'm making sense. Okay, just so when you're done with this part with this side, you go ahead and do the same at the other side as well. Okay. So now the next thing to do is you pick up um, the dress by the armhole, okay, the opening of the armhole, you fold it in with the same allowance you used in joining the glue. Remember you used um, one and a half inch to join this, so just fold it from that point, okay, and then you pin all the way down. As you can see, I'm folding from that point, nothing added and nothing removed okay pin it down like you see me do right now just to hold it down a firm there okay now you're going to open this up like this and then give a fold as in folding the rough part like that and sew all the way around okay so just place it like that and then you sew when you're done sewing you know you have to do the same on the other um um sleeve as well okay yeah
so I'm done sewing both sides this is how it's going to be looking when you are done okay so let me just go ahead and flip this to the front part and you see it very well So this is what you're going to have by the time you are done, alright? This is it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to turn this over and then attach the pockets to it, alright? So what you're going to do is you pick up your pockets okay then um, one inch away one inch before the half length okay you start from there and then sew all the way down to where the other part ends now when you're placing this pocket you remember that um small um parts that we slashed okay that we cut off that small opening that part is going to be facing the down part as in it's going to be facing the down while the other part is going to be up okay so you just place it like that and then you sew it okay yeah just so like you see me do make sure the both sides are equal okay So when you're done sewing this, always remember to cut off your excess thread. It is very very important. When you're done sewing this, now this is the part I was talking about. The small parts it should be facing the um the down part of the clothes. So when you're done sewing this, you sew like that, just the way you see me do now. You close up that part, and when you're done you run the other part as well okay cuts of the thread this is thread and then you saw this other part yeah you run it all the way to the end okay so when you are done with this of course you fix the other pockets as well <laughs> i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you're understanding everything i'm saying to this point okay So that is just how to fix the in that is just how I fix my in pockets, alright? So like I said before, every other, everybody has the way they fix their pocket ball. This is what works well for me. Alright. This method makes it come out very flat and you won't even know that there is an in pocket there because it's going to be very nice, neat and flat. That is it. So this is the method I use. So Let's fix the other part of the pocket as well.
so now that we are done fixing we have just one more step okay one more thing to do to this dress and it is done so this is the pocket we are done fixing it you see how neat it is okay you see you won't even know that th that there is a pocket on this dress the same person is you know placing yeah, my hand inside the pocket yeah see how flat and it it is so the next thing we're going to do is um from the um folding allowance okay you've the down this is down that the down part of this dress right now you fold it down okay and then you go iron this so i'm done ironing this right now so the next thing to do is to place it on my machine okay and then give it a one fold you fold that rough part in like that and then you sew round okay yeah just like that so please when you're sewing this make sure your stitches are straight okay make sure the stitching is very very straight okay make sure it's straight it is very very important all right so you just go ahead and sew okay just keep sewing <laughs> so as you can see this dress is very very simple to make okay very very simple to make all right so um, i hope you're going to be trying this and um, when you make this just um let me know in the comment section or go ahead to my ig all right pristine praise vlogs on my instagram and let me see your work you can as well make a post and tag me to it i would love to see your work i would love to see you try this all right uh, so just try this you can do it you can i'm positive that you can so if there is any other um tutorial you would like me to do on this channel please do let me know in the comment section and i promise to bring it your way okay i'll do my best to bring it your way yeah so i'm just go going to go ahead and just keep saying this so all the way <laughs> oh my god and voila and voila it is ready it is ready so remember to cut off your sister trade okay it is ready this dress is so so ready it is ready right now so this is it okay see how flat and neat this is so this is the final look of this dress <laughs> this is the final look so so nice so so cute so guys like i said before try this out and let me know in the comment section when you do also make a post on ig and tag me to it okay so see you guys next time bye